Hello everyone, it is I, the one coolest man, and welcome back to more Undertale. In the last episode, we defeated Undyne after after losing to her many, many times. And now we are here in this odd area. There's a lab this way, the front path's being blocked off, and there's a boatsman down to the south. Let's go talk to the boatsman. Tra la la, I'm the river man. Where am I the weather woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride my boat. Would you care to join me? Ah, uh, sure. Where will we go today? Snowden Waterfall. Let's go to Snowden. Then we are off. Ah. Come again sometime, tra la la. Well, I guess I'm, since I'm here in Snowden, I wonder if there's anything I can buy. Shops. Did you know? I didn't really buy much last time I was here. Here's the inn. Here's the shop. Have uh, <laughs> has Abbott on it. I need more healing items actually. Actually no, I'll wait until I get to Temi Village for that. Uh, I'll I'll buy one of these. Let me toss some of these items in here though. Am I healed? Yep, I'm healed. Let's go in here. And let's go visit Sans and Papyrus, everyone's favorite characters. Welcome to this Welcome to Scenic My House! Enjoy and take your time around. Since I didn't get to show this last time. So, um, you've seen everything. Do you want to start the date? I forgot about this. I know I mentioned it in the video where I came in here, but I didn't actually show what happens. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. That's true. Now you see, I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're already, we're ready to have a great time. Let's see, step one, press the C key on your, on your keyboard for dating hub. <laughs> so weird. Wowie, I feel so informed! I like how population's currently going up and down. Must be for people doing genocide runs. I think we're ready for step two! Step two! Ask them on a date! Ahem. Human! I, the great Papyrus, will go on a date with you! Sure. Really? Wow! Wow, he's so happy. I guess that means it's time for part three! Step three, put on nice clothes to show that you care. Wait, wear clothing. That bandana around your head. I'm still wearing the bandana. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? No, you planned it all. You're way better than dating than I am. No, your power. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that tension bar. Don't think you best than me yet. I, the great papyrus. I've never been beaten at dating and I never will because I've never done this before, but I will beat you. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <laughs> yeah, what do you think of my style? This is awesome. Now, a genuine compliment. However... You don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. 
Did that what happened? There's actually a lot of things I can click here, so I'll just start from the bottom. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the soles of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. What about these shorts? There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and... <laughs> I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart, <laughs> but who doesn't? Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. Alright, enough floating around. My hat? My hat? My hat? Yeah, <laughs> yeah! Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present j just for you. Yeah. I actually don't know what happens if you say open it, but, but I know what happens if you say don't. You can't even bring yourself to harm my delicate wrapping? No, that technique. It's too strong. Counterattack. I'll open a present myself. It's spaghetti. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti? That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. <laughs> this ain't any plain old pasta. <laughs> this is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti. Finely aged in an oaken cask. Jesus Christ, his voice is <laughs> doing a toll. <laughs> on my voice. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus? Human, it's time to end this. There's no way to go any further. Refuse to eat it. You mean, you're letting me have it instead? Because you know how much I love pasta? Impossible! Taking my present and turning around on me. Ah! Her! No! Look at that dating power. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say. It's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus? I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard. But I thought it was just because you farted that I was supposed to. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I will be able to match your passion. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you... I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't just fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like all of this never happened. After all, you are very great. I think it would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please... Don't cry because I won't kiss you. And it's because I don't even have lips. That's true. Hey, someone you'll find someone as great as me. As great as the great Papyrus? Well, no, that's not true. <laughs> but I'll help you sell it for second best. Oh, so you'll help me get with Sans? Anyway. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me at any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. I wonder if there's anything back here. Look in the closet. Sure. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Oh yeah, I already looked in here. I wonder what Sans is doing. The door is locked. It's kind of creepy how there's fire. Anyway. Uh, now that's done. Now I can take the boatsman back to where I was. Ah, oh, that's done. Try to lock here for a ride. Yes. Where should we go? Let's go to Hotland. Then we're off.
skip, 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 skip. Tra la la, Temi Village, the room before the darkening lantern room. So I guess that tells you how to get to Temi Village if you didn't know, even though I've already been there in this let's play. Coming in some time, tra la la. Alright, let's go into this creepy lab. Oh great, I'm being watched. It's you? It's too dark to see near the walls. Wait, I'm being watched. Oh, oh my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Um, who's I? I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist, but, but, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. I'm actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, um, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through the hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tidy issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Oh boy. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. But, um, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, it's just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti-human anti combat features? Uh, uh, of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teasy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> but, um, hopefully we, we won't run into him. I was about to say cue the giant thud. Because I knew it was going to happen. It was like, thud. I knew it was gonna happen. I could have called that. Did you hear something? It's a good thing I saved. Oh no. And a white flash. Today's quiz show. Oh man, I wish I had a voice modulator for this. <laughs> It'd be awesome. Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone get a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. Therefore, there's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. Let it be known, this is my second favorite song now. Uh uh, I need a dance break. Alright, that's enough. Alright, act. Uh, check. Minotaur. Holy crap! Look at that defense! His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one! What is the prize for answering correctly? Uh, Mercy? Ha ah, you went wrong! Wow, that's half my HP! Screaming is against the rules. Use your terrific prize! What is the king's full name? Asmore Dreamer. Correct! What a terrific answer! Uh, I ate one half of the biscuit. Enough about you, let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Metal and magic, hopes and trees. Metal and magic? Too easy for you, huh? Here's another easy one. What? Why what? Sixty minutes. Ow! Whoa, what was that? 
I'm good at math, but I'm not that good at math. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Oh, what the fuck? 55? Oh, this is gonna suck. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? Oh, I know. That's the froggit. Oh, come on! But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah. Great answer, I love it. Oh, do I not have any items? Ooh, crap. Streaming is against the rules. Here's a simple one. How many letters are in the name Metaton? <laughs> of course that was easy for... Time to break out the big guns. Oh, oh, I know this one. It's snail ice cream. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach. She buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavored, and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it actually was a very powerful message about friendship and... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer, too. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? The human. Seriously? My, my, how conceited could you get? I love it! And while you were completely wrong, you deserve some credit. I've seen her watch you on the computer screen, smiling when you succeed, shrieking when you fail, and always, always whispering. No, wrong, you have to go that way. It is not, I was, in its own way, is this not love? Well, well, with Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Did I just win this battle? Well, that was certainly something. Th that last question, he wasn't supposed to ask that one. But wait, wait. Let me give you my f phone number. Th then, maybe, if you need help, I could... Well, where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. W wait a second, please. I'm guessing this is the upgraded phone. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, and it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially French. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. Yellow feet are tapping behind the door. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. It's a comic about a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. All these books are labeled human history. Oh. What's this one? VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They're all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. Let's read this one. You'll get set a book. It's a comic book. Two scand scandally clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. All these books are labeled hu Okay, what's this one say? It's a comic book. A hideous android is running around a school with toast in his mouth. Seems like it's late. Hmm, doesn't strike you. Pink goop droop from the strange machine. Looks like Alpha's work table. Seems dusty. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are letters for many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed falls into an extremely easy to draw box. She's still watching me. It's kind of creepy. What if I can go back here? No, I can't. Alpha's updated status. I just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Alpha's updated status. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it, about it later. 
of his updated status. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Oh, please tell me it's not going to be like this the whole game. Vulconstruction. Act. Hmm. Hug. You give Vulcan a hug. It warms your heart. And your whole body. Ouch, your defense dropped. Ah, so lovely. Whoa, ha, he, ha, who, ha, he, ow. Vulcan's checks, cheeks glow with a hot heat. Spare. You won. I gained nothing. Let's go back real quick, because I think I want to go back to Tem Village. So let's go to the Boatsman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to the thing I should probably save. Because I'm not in the mood to fight Megaton again. <laughs> I don't really mind it. Let's go to Waterfall. Tra la la, the angel's coming. So where. Will this lend me off? I think I know where this is actually. Come again sometime. No, don't use the box. Yep, here we go. This is exactly where I want it to be. Bum do bum do bum do bum boom do bum do bum do do bum boom do. Hi, welcome to the ten shop. Yeah. Thank precious. Hills two HP. We'll buy a bunch of these. I want him to talk to you. Uh tell me history. Those Tims have deep history. That's all she says, alright. So Hi, I'm Timmy. Oh. So Hi, I'm Timmy. About shop. Yeah yeah, go to Tim shop. Boy, I'm I just enjoying this. I just enjoy being in this place. Uh, I bought me a bunch of ten flakes. Hey, well, to the ten shop. Trying to lock here for a ride. Where did you go? Back to Hotland. Tra la la, what's inside an acorn? It's really just a mystery. I'm expecting, I'm expecting Dr. Alphys to update one of her statuses again. Oh wow! Gotta call them in a minute! Son gets in the way, not on purpose or anything. Act. What if I approach? You get close to Thunder Plan, but not too close. It eh, human. Sun shakes his nose diminishingly at you. Do 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 do. Accidentally bumps you with a swing. What if I flirt? You tell Sunderplane it has a powerful rudder. Huh? You sicko?
Oh, I, I need to touch the green part. Oh, okay. Smells like an air flight perfume. Alright, what if I approach again? Accidentally. Spare. Wow, okay. The whooshing sounds of steam and cogs that fills you with determination. Welcome to the magnifier. Alpha's updater status. <laughs> I hate using a phone. I don't want to do this. LMFAO. Cell. Dimensional box. Wait, then what's in the other dimensional box? Nothing. Look at how many Temmy flakes I have. Oh, I get how this area works. Faro bounds towards you. Cool down. You blow on power up. Its flames die down. Its attack drops. Faro, what's the deal? Look at all the biomes. Boom! This is actually not that hard. It's chuckling through its teeth. What if invite? You invite Faro to hang out. S sorry, I'm all tied up. Ah! Smells like rope burn. If I cool down again, its flames die down a little. Brr. I don't even know. Pretending to pull a fire alarm, that's funny. Right, let's kill this thing. Is it cold in here? Oh, I got hit by the bomb and not the explosion. You won! My love increased. Alpha's updated status. I've had my claw over the last digit for the fa for five minutes. Oh my god, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna call. Ring, ring. Click. Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. Ring. Uh, hi, so, um, the blue lasers, uh, I mean, Alpha's here, hi, the blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move, orange ones, um, you have to be moving, and they, um, they won't, um, move through those ones, um, bye, Alpha's up later says, oh my god, I did it, caught, seven shock like this, it's undyne asked me to call, since undyne helped me to ask about the weather. I was up there, says. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? What's this? It's a switch. Press it. The lasers were deactivated. Oh, sweet. I was up later, stash. Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. I was posted a picture. Cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery flyers fillers over. Alpha's here. The, the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. I think you should go to the right first. That's no, that's the door. Let's go right. Thank you, Alpha's. I was up there stash. Wonder if it'd be un unfun if I explained the puzzle. The way to work is blocked, so I had to catch so I had time to catch Metaton's phone shot on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. That human almost looked real. Metaton? Yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. His fan club probably has at least two no, three dozen members. The door leading through the area is closed, but I tr so I tried the puzzle. I kept running out of ammo and it kept restarting. My two co-workers won't help, so it's like they don't even want to go to work. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. I don't get it. Oh. Oh, okay.
think I see exactly what I mean. I'm trying to think I had to do this probably. You know, I might just try and just do this off screen and do this in the next episode. Oh. Oh, that was so easy. Well, I think I'm going to do the next puzzle in the next episode because we're at 32 minutes now. So thank you all for watching this this episode of Undertale. If you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe button. Harder than Metaton's questions were. Wow, some of those were crazy as fuck. <laughs> anyway, if you guys want to see more stuff that I've done, my channel is down below. So is the subscribe button. So check both of those out. There are links down there to stuff, to other stuff where I am around. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later. Coolest out.